So this is the IGSoft program. I've changed my interface just to be dark because, you know, it's kind of nice. <laughs> but other than that, um, we can take our now uh, exported stills. We can see, we can just check 252 items. So that seems pretty reasonable for something this big. Um, well, we can delete this black one. That doesn't seem necessary. But yeah, these are the sort of images that we've gotten out of this. And so we can just take all these images, select them all, and then take them, press alt tab and drag them into here. And this is like the photo, the, uh, just like the photo bin. Um, so you can just double click these images and you can see, and uh, you can see what these images are looking at. Um, you can select them all. So I just press control A and I'm going to do, uh, Estimate image quality. This is kind of important. So estimate image quality will give you a rating between zero and one. And if it's below 0 0.5, it's generally best to just remove it or disable it for the actual photogrammetry. So we can just sort these things now by their quality. Um, yeah, I mean, some of them are even over one, so that's pretty great. So it looks like, it looks like overall, all of our photos are great. The lighting is good. Everything's been captured. And again, I'm just recording this on a cell phone on a Samsung Note 9. So it's not like I'm doing anything crazy. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to workflow and we're gonna click align photos. The defaults here are pretty good um, to start. Uh, accuracy high is fine. All this is pretty good. And we're gonna just press okay. We'll do its thing again and we'll get back in a second. May take a couple minutes. Okay, so it said um, some of my photos failed to align, and this is something you're typically going to get. But you can check this. Oh, and by the way, if it's not showing like this, I should I should mention this is the little uh, details thing here. I should have mentioned that earlier. You can go from the the images to details just like that. And so you can check to see what's been aligned properly. What that means is essentially like it knows where it is in reference to the other images. And as I scroll down, we'll see that some of them don't have this check mark. For instance, these ones. Which seems like quite a few. So we're going to see if we can actually align some of these. First thing we might try to do, um, we can just try to like locally realign them. So I just sorted them by their label. So now all the ones that have failed to align will be all kind of in sequential order. And I might just select a couple and uh, type align, okay, first reset alignment, and then align selected cameras. Let's see, okay, so there we go. So sometimes it just needs a bit of a subset. You can also go in and manually mark them, but let's just, uh, Let's just start with this and see what happens. So you can see we're getting a lot more than we first did by just rerunning. There we go. Uh, so that, I mean, that's all of them. Let's just do this last one. So it says all of them are aligned now, which could be a good thing. I typically, there's typically, when we start to see a, a point cloud at this point, so I'm a bit, a bit skeptical. But with that being said, the next step would be to generate a dense point cloud. And to do that, we're gonna do build dense cloud. That's in workflow, build dense cloud. Um, this is, this will really, you know, your quality really matters here. Uh, like. High quality might actually, you know, ultra high might take you a day, high, hours, medium, low. You know, it's up to you about what, in terms of what you want to get. I think medium for the sake of this demonstration is probably fine. I might even put it lower if it starts to take too long. I'm going to press okay. Let's just see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, it has finished, uh, it has finished creating the dense point cloud, but it still looks like nothing's happened. 
And that's for two reasons. The first one is we want to actually focus our view on what might be the dense cloud. Like we can check here and see that there's a dense cloud. This is our chunk. If you expand it, you can see it says dense cloud. There's this many points. Um, so we're actually going to right click it. Um, or sorry, we'll go to view. We can go to reset view. And already this is pretty good, um, but this is actually not um, the dense cloud. This is the dense cloud. And so you're starting to see an, an idea of how it's working. And to give you a bit more insight and something that actually gets generated before both of these is the camera points. So you can see where the camera starts. This is obviously the part that uh, previously wasn't aligned, but still didn't seem to uh, generate properly. Probably had to press the regenerate the camera button for that to work. But with that being said, I think it's fine without it. I think this is enough to get the point across. So you can see me moving through with all the photogrammetry points all the way to my house over here. And so that's, that's basically the, uh, the gist of it. Like that's photogrammetry there. And now we're going to, um, work with the data to make it so we can, um, kind of get it to how we want. And so we can manipulate it and have meshes if we're interested And uh, yeah, so sit tight.